guys, so we are on our way to the mall. I have to get my husband one of those like vape machine type things. And I have little Haley here. Hi. And I have my mom here. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. And he wants a vape that has like no nicotine in it and a menthol. He's never had one of these. But when we went to the mall the other day, we were um, talking to the guy about it. So that's what we're going to do. And we're also going to get a coffee. Because I want a coffee. What? I know. And she's got her little ballerina purse. Hi. Hi, I love your purse. It's so pretty. Whoa. Yeah. So, and also, we're going to go to the dollar store because there's a couple more things that I want to pick up for the fall type thing. I'm still editing the video. It's hard to edit this kind of video, so it's going to be coming up soon, though. Um, definitely before, definitely before fall. Okay, so... We're still going to do what we're going to do, but we also had a change of plans. I don't know if anybody, I don't think I updated anybody on this channel about it. Um, I know my husband's channel, we update, up, updated it and everything and let everybody know. But um, about on August 3rd, my father actually passed away and uh, he died from lung cancer, which September, um, coming September, I'm going to be finding an organization that is, tr that takes donations for lung cancer because that is what my father passed away from. And October's uh, uh, September's and, lung cancer month. Yeah, September. And um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but Rosis, which is lung cancer. Yeah. And, uh, but right now what we're going to be doing too is we're going to be going to pick up his remains because he was cremated. We've been trying to like figure out how we were going to pay it and everything. Um, so we're going to go there and pick up his um, remains or the cremation remains and it's kind of like a like a bittersweet kind of thing because I'm sad of the fact that you know it makes it more real now that he's gone and it's kind of hard to explain but like that his body is gone um, because and I've told my mom and my husband we see people we see them from their body we don't see them from the soul so it's kind of sad because then that makes it even more like real in the fact that you know he's going to be with us now but at the same time I'm happy because it means that I don't have to worry about him being you know in that even though I know like in my mind that his body is you know just a shell and that his soul is gone it's just I don't know how to explain it but hopefully you guys can understand so it's a bittersweet and it's like I don't know how to feel I don't know if I should feel happy or if I should feel sad like I know I should feel happy but at the same time I'm feeling more sad than anything but I guess that's just a part of like still grieving because even though he passed away on August 3rd and I've kind of it, I've healed a little bit from it I've been able to actually not be as depressed anymore um, so it's like even though that's happened it's still like sad and it still makes me think about my dad and everything so I'm really excited to be able to get the urn um, and yeah this has just been a very crazy experience we are at the mall we picked up Cinnabon I never had Cinnabon but I heard really good things and this is what we got which is the center of the cinnamon roll and it is delicious like seriously this is like really good really delicious so right now we're gonna go head up and get the vapor phi fee type thing and yeah I'm glad that I don't smoke I'll tell you that got my mom and Haley Haley's enjoying some okay so we just got the vape now we're I know she's so excited now we're going to the elevator we actually stopped off at this one place and it's like a fish spa and we're definitely gonna have to do it one day my mom she asked them if fish die from eating like the skin off your feet but they don't eat the skin off your feet they do like a massage no, if anybody's feet kills them but they haven't so that is really cool we're gonna have to really definitely try it so um, I'm probably gonna vlog it when I do for you guys it, it's gonna be very very weird and as a nail tech that's pretty cool actually that would save like a snail techs a lot of time right there so we're gonna go home give my well, actually I gotta go to the dollar store real quick and then we're gonna give my husband like hitting into my mom we're gonna give my husband his machine okay so we're at the dollar store and they have all this Halloween stuff which is, this is a bigger one than what I normally go to but they have all this Halloween stuff but we're not really gonna be celebrating Halloween this year so that'd be really cute to spray paint and cheap 
little Halloween costumes. You could be like a black knight, pirate hat. Oh, look at these pumpkins right here. That is really cute. That is really cute. Ooh, and then we got some, some glitter tool. We got all different colors. This is cute. Welcome to our patch. Home sweet home. Also gonna get the welcome to our patch. Ooh, look at this pumpkin. That is cute. But I think I'm gonna get probably, no, I'm gonna get two of these. And then they have these. This is what I was looking for but couldn't find it at the other one. Decorative picks. Ooh, they have more over here. They got some food too. They got some flowers, one with flowers. This is nice. This one is cute. I think this is, yep, this is what I need. These little people. I get some more of these. And they have the cute little decorations in the front of the yard. Now this is really adorable. Look at that. Okay, so we just got out of Starbucks and I got pumpkin spice latte. They finally have the pumpkin spice latte. Um, love pumpkin spice. I think last year at Starbucks they brought it at like, it was like the end of September, but they have it now in August. And I absolutely love fall. It is my favorite. Um, and I'm just so excited. I love the this, this season. I'm not really that much big on Halloween anymore, but I love fall and the pumpkins and the hay rides. And this year I'm gonna do a lot of a lot of stuff. Like I'm gonna do like this bucket list of fall stuff that I wanna do with the kids and record it and vlog it. Um, pumpkin patch. Yep, pumpkin patch, all sorts of places. And I don't I'm just still deciding. I know it's far, like really far still, but I'm deciding if I wanna do um vlogtober or vlogmas i'm not sure yet i might do vlogtober and vlogmas it's gonna be kind of hard to vlog like every single day um but i'm gonna try to do it and see see how it goes okay so we just got home not too long ago and i wanted to show you real quick this is what the urn looks like so this is the ashes of my dad right here um that's a picture of him i decided to put it right here next to my computer just because this is where i do my bible studying at night and my dad was very big on the Bible. He was very big on, you know, talking about God. We always talked about God. Um, and it was just something that was just me and his his thing, always. And I had questions. I had questions and he had answers. But that's why I put his picture in the urn right here. Um, he was very handsome, wasn't he? But my dad suffered from a lot of things. He suffered from COPD. That was a main, main thing that he suffered from. He suffered from, or he had three heart attacks, three stents. He had two or three strokes. He suffered a lot, okay? And the thing that made him pass away was the lung cancer, which is pulmonary fibrosis. And like I said earlier, I'm thinking about on Saturday, I mean in September, finding an organization that is trying to find a cure for it and try to do, you know, take donations for them, for that that organization because I think it's something that I definitely want to find a cure for there is no cure at the moment and he he was diagnosed with this and never told anybody he never let any of us know that he had lung cancer all the symptoms were there I'm sure if I would have researched it I would have found it because he just had so many so many things he also suffered from um, dementia or he was in the beginning of dementia and Alzheimer's um, and yeah so he had he had quite a lot of things but the lung cancer is what actually killed him um, and this happened on August 3rd so I'm still healing I've gotten a lot better thank God with God's God's grace and lots of prayers it's helped me um, continue to pray for me guys because I still need it it's kind of weird having the ashes here um, but I'm happy it's like a bittersweet like I said before it's bittersweet because it makes it more real that makes it sad to me but at the same time I'm happy because 
his body is here with me. Even though I know he's not actually physically, like spiritually here, you know, his ashes and his body is. And that's what is going to help me with healing. And that's what I'm really thankful for. But at the same time, like I said, it's bittersweet because it makes it more real. Usually when you get um, pulmonary fibrosis, you have about a five-year window of, of survival. So that's what, what that is. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like this video. Leave some comments down below. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye. spoke a word you were singing over me you have been so so good to me before I took a breath you breathed your life in me you have been so so kind to me